Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Samantha and I go by Thrifty on a Dime on all my social media platforms. I talk all things reselling, whether it be online as well as in person. So if that sounds like something you can learn from or you're interested in, make sure you do hit that subscribe as well as that little bell icon. It's gonna alert you whenever I put out new content. And I try to put out new content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, as long as everything goes smoothly. So I have another thrift haul video for you. Um, I ended up going today, sorry, my mailman was coming. I ended up going today and finding some goodies, so I figured I'd share them with you. Um, I do have a very large mystery box from ThreadUp coming on Friday, <laughs> so I figured I'd get a little thrifting in before I, um, it's just a mailman, calm down. <laughs> get a little th uh, thrifting in before I got those large boxes and just to kind of see what I can find. I tried to find different stuff than what was coming, which what's coming is a hundred pounds of women's mixed clothing. So anything women's, you know, um, tops, bottoms, accessories and stuff like that. Shoes. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had any shoes in a lot, but yeah, so there's a hundred pounds coming. So I tried to stray away from women's as much as possible, but I do have a few things in here. So yeah, let me dive right in. Um, one store I spent 26 and a little bit of tax, I think 26 and 93 or 94. They didn't give me a receipt because it was a church, um, a church thrift store. So they don't really do a, a machine receipt or whatever. And then I did go to Goodwill also, and it was like 68 and some change. I know one of the receipts is in there. <laughs> so I'll find it here in just a second. Or maybe it's in my purse. Let me see. Oh, it's right here. Okay, cool. It's not 68, yeah, 68, 68, 81. So I was right on the money. 68, 81, and then 26, 94. <laughs> Cause I got six cents back. That's how I knew it was 94. All right, here we go. So the first item is an altered state dress. And I know I said I'm straying away from women's, but here we go, women's dress. Um, I do believe this is the newer tag of altered state. Just let me know if it's not, um, but I did look up some comps. I'm not, I don't have the best luck with their tops and stuff and shorts. I think if I gotten some shorts before, but I did look at the cons on this dress and the uh, dress was like 30 plus. So I really think that's going to be a good flip. And again, I play, paid goodwill prices. I think, um, dresses, I dropped it now. Dresses are $5.79 at my goodwill. And then I just got a plain soft surrounding um, maxi dress, super long maxi dress, but it's in really good uh, condition. Uh, soft surrounding does pretty well. Let me show you the tag. Soft surrounding does pretty well for me, um, but it's not like a huge profit. So again, this one's probably going to be about $25 to $35. So it's kind of like a staple piece. Then I found my youngest daughter, uh, Carhartt, some Carhartt bibs. So cute. <laughs> I hope they fit her. They kind of look, look a little big, but she is kind of chunky, so we'll see. All right, this is a cavy piece. I'm not sure if square tag is still the newer tag or what, but yeah, cavy does decent. It just stinks because this one is an extra small, um, so it is a smaller size, but I think it'll at least give me 20 to 25 for it. And then a Nike, what is it, Thermofit? Yeah, Nike Thermofit. And then she gave me this half off. I'm not quite sure why, because it's not a green tag. But yeah, she gave me this one half off. Um, I just think this is a staple piece. I mean, it's in really good condition. There's no cracking on the um, Thermofit label, no cracking on the graphic on the front. That is something you want to look out for. And then you also want to look out for it cracking on the inside just because that means it's been worn a ton of times or it's been washed a lot. <laughs> but I think I can get at least 20 to 25 for that. And that is before all the uh, Poshmark fees, of course. Other than a little dog hair, I got this Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse, I should say, um, dog sweater. Yeah, it was 99 cents, but it actually is from Disney, and I try to pick up any kind of actual Disney pieces. It's not going to be a huge flip, but it's probably going to be about 12 bucks, maybe 15 And again, I paid a dollar, so. All right, I think I said in my last video that I wasn't going to get any coats or jackets anymore, like heavy-duty ones, and then here I am getting a sweater dress, <laughs> but it is a Bowden. I think it's a sweater dress. Maybe it's, maybe it's not, well, there's, maybe it's just a sweater. 
cardigan. But yeah, it's cute and it's heavy duty, like I said, but it's bowed in, so I'm not sure. I'll have to look up comps because each piece is priced differently, you know, resells differently for, for that brand. Sometimes it's a hit or a miss. <laughs> Sometimes I pick it up and don't do well. This is another cabbie piece. Um, yeah, just a cute semi-crop sweater top. Not going to be huge profits, probably about um, 18 to 25 and then another cabbie just t-shirt. Probably about 15 to 18. I'm just making sure there's no like water stains that I missed. Or oil stains I should say. And a Michael Kors jacket. It is a lightweight jacket. I think this is like a green. Like an olive green or maybe a charcoal gray. Um, it is in really good condition. So they're coats are priced at well winter coats I should say I have paid $7.89 for them yes $7.89 for them um it is kind of a lot so it has to be something good but my thought is I'm gonna take it into style encore because a lot of times they price their jackets at $50 so since I'm kind of maxed out on hanging items I'm going to try and take it there and just see if see what they'll give me and it's, it is lightweight so they might take it and if they price it at 50, that means I'm going to make 20 to $30 on it. Cuz you do you get a third of whatever they price it at. So I feel like that's that's a good deal. I mean, it's fast cuz I'm already going to go there, I think tomorrow or the next day, one or the other. I've got like five IKEA bags ready to go. Another My Michael Kors, um this is a packable just down long coat. Again, uh, just depends on what they're going to give me for it. I may go ahead and just list it online if they don't give me enough all right coming step i did look this brand up um it is a smaller size size two i believe though it is suede it feels like suede but the label is in chinese so i'm not quite for sure if it is or not but the comps on this brand looked really good um it was like 100 150 um but I did not do an in-depth search. <laughs> Didn't do an in-depth search, so that could bite me in the butt. But I only paid $7.89 for it. So again, I think even at 50, if I only make 50, that's still a great profit. And it's more of a spring, I just feel like a spring summery jacket because it's not like super heavy duty. And it would be cute just open wearing something underneath. All right, so this was an awesome find. Anytime you find men's wear, well, I guess what it could be women's too, with FR, that means fire resistant or flame resistant. Yeah, flame resistant. And usually that stuff will sell pretty well. Now, sometimes you may only get like $20 to $25 a piece. But I looked up this brand and on the website, these exact pants go for... Um, new $128. So my thought is I'll probably price them at like 30 to 40. They're in really, really good condition. And I think they're a good size. I really don't know. Yeah, 36 by 32. So they're a really good size too. Um, you know, a typical man size, I think a little bit, a little bit big, bigger, you know, I think maybe typical is like 34, but 36 is not bad. So again, I'm going to probably price that at, um, 30 to 40. <laughs> and I really think that it'll sell pretty quickly at that price, to be honest. And this was an exciting find too. So this next piece is going to pay for everything. So that means that everything else is going to be profit. Um, I'll just peek it up a little bit. You know what it is? <laughs> it's a Carhartt coat. Uh, I do believe it is vintage. So the tag is extra, extra worn. But this actually was in amazing condition, especially for being a Carhartt. Um, but I do believe after looking it over, it is like one that I've had before. And I sold one that was vintage like this one with the metal buttons there. I sold it for $125. Was it on Poshmark or was it Facebook? I'm thinking Facebook, which was amazing because you only pay 5%. Um, and now my cats are playing the bags. <laughs> but again, this will pay for everything. Is that a stain? It really doesn't matter if it has a stain. I think that I can get that out, though. That's like 
looks like just like chalk or something but it really doesn't matter um that last one i sold for 125 actually had stains all over it ash go on had stains all over it and it still sold for 125 dollars and then this was such a funky find <laughs> I saw that it was bibs, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that reminds me of the Packers. And then, of course, it says game bibs. And, yeah, it's just, I guess, game bibs, Packers. <laughs> Obviously, it's probably Packers. I didn't see... I didn't see a tag. So, I don't really know the size. I'll have to measure it and kind of go off of, based off of that. But yeah, I still think at paying um, jean prices, which was $7.89, I still think I can probably get at least 30 bucks for these, depending after I look up comps. Because sometimes when you look up comps, you're pleasantly surprised. And sometimes you're like, dang, maybe I should not have picked that up. And I just picked that up on a whim because I really think even at 20 bucks, that's going to be a good flip. All right, so that was all for Goodwill. Now on to the next one. So I found this Dooney and Burke. It was in an unsorted um, bag. Now, I'm not sure, to be honest, it seems legit. Like, it seems like it's real. The only thing that's throwing me off is the inside. But I do know that sometimes the outlet um, outlet doonies don't have the, the regular DB print or whatever on the inside. So, I don't know. I mean... It all looks legit to me. The stitching is really good. The stitching up here is really good. Um, and it does not have a serial number, which sometimes I mean wristlets don't. So I don't know. You know, I pay basically like a dollar for it. So even if it's not real, I guess it's still a great deal. So this was a good find as far as the brand. It's to me, but it does have some slight wear. The thing about it is though, is it's... um canvas so I do think I can get the wear out by washing it so I'm going to try and wash it and get that out now I will have to use a little bit of leather polish because the edges are definitely worn but it's not cracking so that's the good thing that it's still in good condition let me check this I should check these before I say that I don't see any cracking on the leather handles so yeah I think after I spray and wash Put some spot remover on here and then shine up the edges. I think that's going to be an easy 20 to 30. Um, just because of the wear, I don't think I want to price it up any higher. I know Toomey sometimes can do better. And then I found this Bagalini. Oh, I didn't even open it. There's more in it. So this Bagalini and this is a Daymaker Sandra Barbara. Mm hmm let me know if you've heard of this one. Um, I'm probably just going to send it into um, Style Encore, to be, to be honest. I've never heard of Daymakers. Santa, Santa Barbara. <laughs> I said Sandra, I think. Santa Barbara Daymakers. Yeah, I don't know that brand. Well, this bag Lainey was a good find, though. I only paid three bucks for it. Um, I'm going to try and see what Style Encore will give me for give me it for first just because I have so many purses in my inventory right now I'm okay with the fast flip I'm really looking for stuff that I can actually bag and then put in a uh, small box like my banana boxes because I use banana boxes they're free and cheap because they're free <laughs> um and then I got this organizing case it's a flamingo case and it just says under one sky so I, my thought is I'm going to take it into a uh, style encore and just see what they'll give me, um, first before I list it. But if I list it, probably only like 12 to $15. And again, that is before all the fees. So one thing you guys probably are not searching is the hat aisle. And I really feel like you're missing out if you're not. So I found this, uh, I think it's Tennessee something. I just sold one from it. I don't know. But anyways, it says Heisman Collection Reebok. It's in really good condition. There was no um, 
no flaws that I noted. I wanted to make sure like looking into the light, there wasn't any because <laughs> you find every flaw when the light's on. And then this Disney visor, this was in really good shape. Um, yeah, it actually has a Disney tag. They're not going to be huge flips, but I paid 50 cents a hat. Another Disney one with the Disney tag. This one might need washed. I don't, I can't tell. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. But all these hats, uh, the Tennessee one, maybe just like 10 to 12. Because the last one I sold, I think it was like 10. The Disney ones, I definitely think I can get 12 to 15. And then like this one, this Chevrolet one, probably like 10 to 12. But I just thought it was super cute. And then I don't know the brand on this one. I just really liked the um, print. I think it's like a military or camo camel print hat and I don't know I think it's bucket hat correct me if I'm wrong my lister she is amazing so she'll kind of just help me figure out what to call it and then this was a new with tags max studio but it was real leather so I'm going to take this into style encore they'll probably give me um like three or four bucks for it they'll probably list it at like 15 to 20 being that it's real leather and then I picked up this wallet it's a Tommy Hilfiger um for a dollar Again, I'm just going to flip it instantly at Style Encore, and I'll probably just get like 3 to $4 for it. But hey, not bad for only paying a um, dollar. <laughs> All right, I got this top. It's just sheen, not top, swim top for myself. And then I found this Splendid. Is this one Splendid? Yeah, Splendid Swim. The only unfortunate thing is that it's a size small, but I still think it will sell. Not sure how much, probably just 15 to 20. The one thing about swim, swim stuff is you always want to check the bottom butt on the outside and then also on the inside just to make sure there's like no wear. And this one is basically like new. And then uh, one of my followers uh, had told me about this uh, dancing brand it's called GK, I think. Yeah. So GK from Elite Sportswear. Um, and I sold the leotards that I had gotten pretty much <laughs> instantly when I had listed them over on Facebook. So I picked them up. So all of these are actually the GK, the GK brand. I'll let you know when they're different. I think this is honestly all that's left is the GK. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yes. I thought I picked up this. I, I had a vintage swim um, one piece that I was going to pick up by Jantins, but I decided not to. All right. So that's everything. Again, the Carhartt and the flame resistant pants will pay for both stores combined. And then everything else is just pure, pure profit. So you just have to dig sometimes, guys. <laughs> And I feel like today was um, very productive. I mean, I only spent, I think, an hour and a half between both stores. So, although I didn't get, like, a huge haul, I only spent, I spent less than $100. I think about $90. Probably $90 altogether. Spent about $90 on all of that. So, that was exciting. I'm, I'm glad I went out. I wasn't going to, but I'm glad I did. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day, guys.